Ontario is home to nine species of turtle. The Blandings turtle, the Eastern Spiny Softshell turtle, the Painted turtle, Northern Map turtle, the Snapping turtle, the Wood turtle, introduced red-eared slider and the spotted turtle. Not shown is the musk turtle. Moving silently through our marshes, wetlands, lakes and rivers is our largest turtle, the common snapping turtle. Females can weigh over six kilograms. Males can weigh over ten. In fact, many do. Snapping turtles eat a variety of foods, including plants and animals. Among the animals are invertebrates, fish, small reptiles, even ducklings. Once hatched, males seldom, if ever, come back on land, but females must come ashore to lay eggs. And this is when they are most commonly seen by people, especially in the spring. Be aware, because the plastern, the bottom part of the shell, does not cover their complete body. These turtles are quite aggressive and will fight back, if handled. In the spring, the female searches for a sandy bank in which to lay her eggs. She digs a hole and she carefully positions each egg. Between 25 and 80 eggs are laid, and they will take between four and eight weeks to hatch. By then, mother is long gone. She's returned to the pond. She will stay there the rest of the year, and she will hibernate in the mud at the bottom of the pond. For many of our species of turtles, one of the greatest dangers is crossing roads and being run over by traffic. Please watch out for them. The eastern spiny softshell turtle is one of Ontario's rarest turtles. It is found in the wetlands of southern Ontario. It is most common on the shoreline of Lake Erie. This is our only soft-shelled species of turtle. The red-eared slider is an introduced species it is the turtle found in pet shops. Unfortunately, it seems to be able to survive southern Ontario winters and is now competing with native species like this Blandings turtle. Blandings turtles are declining in southern Ontario. They require large marshy areas and as we develop wetlands, this turtle has suffered many losses. The spotted turtle is one of our smallest turtles, only 13 centimeters long. It is found along the north shore of Lake Erie and along the shorelines of Georgian Bay. It likes slow-moving, unpolluted water. A recent study suggests there may be as few as only 2,000 of these turtles left in the province. The wood turtle is easily identified by its red legs. It is found in isolated patches of woodland with clear, freshwater streams. It is not common in the province. While it is not a threatened species, the northern map turtle is a species of concern. It is found in marshes and wetlands from the St. Lawrence right down to the tip of southern Ontario. It often inhabits the same marshes that Blanding's turtles can be found in. It also is a neighbor of the painted turtle. The painted turtle is the turtle you are most likely to see. It loves to bask on logs. It is found throughout southern Ontario Research is being done on it in Algonquin Park, and it is a common sight at Riverwood. This species is a long-lived species, and no one really knows for sure how long it lives. A surprising fact is, as females get older, they become more fertile and lay more eggs. You may well see one of these turtles in your local pond, but what might surprise you is it may walk over a kilometer to a much deeper pond where it will overwinter and hibernate. Ontario's turtles, like turtles everywhere, are well worth helping and trying to preserve.